I started with a cream white face paint and focused on the upper area of my face. And because the look is meant to be a messy application of a joker style makeup, I kept the lines along the edges of my face ragged and unblended. I used a teal Wolf FX Hydrocolor to base out my eye shapes. And I found that in the illustration, Rodney's lines are longer on the top than on the bottom, so I drew them out that way. And then I went over them with a dark teal eyeshadow to set everything. I used a dark gray eyeshadow to emphasize and fill in my brows, making them a bit thicker than my natural to help fit the look better. I took a black eyeliner to make some simple comic style expression lines, trying to achieve that drawn outlined effect. I also added the gray eyeshadow to the outside of my eyes to darken the eye area and add a bit more depth. From there I just mapped out the ripped mouth shape with the black eyeliner and used a white hydrocolor to start making the teeth. Rodney's teeth are very straight and stylized in the graphic novel so I wanted to try and emulate that with how I drew the teeth. With a red hydrocolor, I began making the exposed muscle lines, simply sketching the shapes in and then using different shades of pinks to reinforce and build up those areas. I used the black to outline the teeth, keeping that stylized, connected look to them, and then filled in the lip area in between as well. In areas I left bare in the muscle area, I filled them in with black to give some strong depth and then outlined the muscle groupings to make them stand out more. I just went over again with the red, especially in any areas I found too pink or purple toned, and then I also filled in the ripped chin area. With a white, I added some last strong highlights and then immediately did the same with black lines to complete the illustrated look. To really increase the separation of the muscle lines and give the appearance of forward and recessed areas, I used a black eyeshadow on the outer edges of some of the muscle groupings. I highlighted a bit with the white and shadowed the chin area, and that was it.
And if you want to see my more realistic interpretation of the torch, you can see it here.